Hello, hello, hello. Let me just... Um... Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to um, Ninja Monkey. Um, welcome to Ninja Monkey. I'm Nathan and today I'm going to be trying to answer your Japan travel questions. If you've come to the channel recently, welcome. I'm Nathan. I've traveled to Japan multiple times a year, making videos along the way, helping tourists like yourself become more confident when traveling in the land of the rising sun, a country that a lot of people seem to be a little bit nervous and um, can get a little bit anxious about traveling around. Believe you me, it's a, it's a very easy country to, to, to travel around and um, I'm here to hopefully answer the questions. And we also have a great community of people in the chat, including the mod my moderators, which I want to say a big thank you for moderating the chat, especially when there's more and more people coming coming along. Um, during the chat, just be aware that if you at Ninja Monkey Guy, then the question will be highlighted to me, uh, especially when there's chat in between yourselves. It makes it a little bit difficult for me to figure out what's, what's the question. I will try to read as many as I can. If for whatever reason I don't get to yours, then it probably means that I've not seen it. So please write um, write it down again, you know, send it again. Or it just means that maybe I have already answered it um, previously, um, very recently. So let's see. All right, let's get going. Starting off with, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna very quickly say hello to people that are here. Um, oh, we already start with a <laughs> banana fan. Thank you very much, Frog Lady. Um, guys, if you do want to support the channel, um, then can I put a frog? Yes, I can. If you do want to support the channel, um, there's various ways of doing it. Hitting the like button to start with is definitely a great way to support the channel. Um, <laughs> Subscribing if you haven't subscribed already, commenting um, and interacting with if, with this live stream will really help. And if you want to support, there's also my Patreon, Super Chats and PayPal, etc. So um, just letting you know that that's there. So very quickly, thank you for the banana fans. I do have a Tokyo banana waiting here. <laughs> I'm very excited to, to get started. So I will be reading starting straight away with the questions and saying hello along the way. I think that's going to work a little bit better. Hello, if we plan to rent a car and use a JR Pass, do we have to use a regular immigration um, line so our passport will be stamped? Um, if, we plan, if we plan to rent a car and use a JR Pass, do we have to use a regular immigration? Yeah, basically, if you want to get a JR Pass, you need a visitor stamp on your passport. That, that basically should answer your question there. What is a nice town for a day trip from Tokyo? I'm looking for a town or a city that gives me the feel of old, authentic Japan. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, there's plenty of various places that you can go. Even going to places like Kamakura will protect, will give you some some of the, those um, those vibes. But um, if you want to go and get a little bit more of you know authentic Japan old style vibes, then I suggest that you go to places like um, um, Matsumoto some of the areas in Matsumoto and um, go to um, um, maybe Ashikaga and um, go to Nikko these are all locations that are relatively easy to get to from from Tokyo so yeah which team lab lab is best or better actually I've only gone to the team labs planet recently the new one I'll be going later on this month so I'll be able to report back about that one I went to the original one that was in Odaiba and it was pretty neat to be honest, the great thing about the team team labs is that they it's such a great experience. It's so much fun that whichever one you choose, I don't think you're making a bad choice. If that makes any sense, just be aware that the planets one you will have to um, take off your shoes and you will have to walk through water. So some people are not really into that kind of thing. So just consider that. Just gonna check. Nobody's complaining about the audio. <laughs> um, all right, we have four days spare, Kyoto or Osaka, both, guys, both. Um, if I were you, I would definitely um, do Osaka, and evening in Osaka, Dotonbori area is loads of fun. It's great, 
it's pretty pretty cool um and even osaka itself has has various interesting things to check out the castle looks pretty nice you can check out my osaka video by the way to get an idea of the sense of osaka if i had to choose between osaka and kyoto i would definitely say that there's more like different stuff to do in in um, kyoto in in terms of shrines and temples and just a more traditional sort of cultural vibe um that's my per personal pre preference i know a lot of people who do both and some people just decide that they like osaka more the great thing is that you can literally stay in one of them and you can use that as a base for for both it's so easy to get in between one and the other that um that you won't have any problem I didn't get Ghibli tickets, got in queue at 1am UK time, 22,000 in the queue ahead of me. That is absolutely madness. Um, That is absolutely madness. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Hello, I love the channel. I am moving to Hiroshima. Nice, this spring for one year, which is a mobile sim and pocket Wi-Fi provider that you recommend for someone staying long term. Um, I've mentioned this before. Um, and I think I commented right now, but I do have a uh, Sakura Mobile affiliate link, which um, you can scan. And they also do long term uh, mobile rental and Wi-Fi rental, etc. You can check out. I always say go for whatever is the cheapest and whatever works best for you. I can I give you my affiliate links because they do help the channel out. They help me get back to Japan, explore Japan and create videos. Uh, but ultimately, I am I am here. I want you to have the best the best thing that that works for you you know like like so i just give you this option it's what works for me it's one that i that i've used in the past and i continue to use and um that's the one that i recommend a little for all your help thank you so much arigato gozaimasu yay thank you so much um man with no life i'll just write it here man with no life thanks for your support there and then we have confetti and we have a big thank you oops that's being hidden by the sakura <laughs> thingy so let's carry on with it i'm trying to get through through the questions as quickly as i can um, and i will be start skimming the questions now to see um, which ones might be more interesting rather than going through them in order um Okay, I was flying from Osaka, JAL, to Haneda, and then BA flight to London. Okay, at Haneda, we go to Terminal 3 for our flight home. Do we go through customs, collect, recheck in luggage again? It's all on one booking. From If you're flying from Osaka to Haneda, usually that is on... Usually, you, you are going to have to ask, I'm, I'm not going to lie, but usually that is a domestic flight. And being a domestic flight, in theory, you might have to get your luggage and you might have to might have to um, move it forward, take it with you to check in again. Um, yeah, because you'll have to do customs and all that. Um, <laughs> do you have a second channel? Yes, I do have a second channel. It's a live streaming vlog channel. I just put out a video today. I, I um, explored Akabane with a fellow YouTuber, um, which is called, who's called um, Luke, a nomadic guy in Japan. Great, great guy. Super friendly. Love him. He's like a brother to me in, in, in Tokyo. And we explored Akebane, and I recommend that you check out that video and also support my second channel. It's very, very different to Ninja Monkey. It's very chill, and it's very unedited. Or I try to. Question. Does um, train distance matter if you have a scooter car or is it important for quality of life living in Japan house apartment? I think personally, if you're living in Japan and you have a scooter or a car, don't forget that um, that first of all, if you have a car, you probably won't be using the well, it depends where you're going to be traveling too far, long distance to different towns, etc. Um, I think train stations are important for getting around the general vicinity of where you are without having to rely on public transportation. Um, and usually, you know, if you're living there, 15, 20 minute walk isn't the end of the world. 
Hello Ninja Monk, I have a question. I plan to get an Airbnb in Japan. Well, Japan's ability to is a guy for that, by the way. He's got an awesome um, Facebook uh, Facebook um, community um, channel or group that I recommend that you check out also, all, all of you who are watching. Um, but I don't want to get a taxi to take me there. Can the shuttle bus work or do I need to be close to the airport if late? To the airport if late. Um, I plan to get an Airbnb in Japan, but I don't want to get a taxi to take me there. Can a shuttle bus? Well, if the shuttle bus leaves you near near your your Airbnb, I don't see why not. A lot of people, and I mentioned this in my last in my Q and A um, video that I just put out, but a lot of people actually they use the limousine bus, for example, to get to a hotel that might be near their their um their the hotel that they're staying in. Not necessarily the hotel that they are at, if that makes any sense. The the limousine or the shuttle bus might take you to a specific hotel. You might not be staying there, but your hotel might be nearby and you can look into that. Yes, you should have no problem taking paracetamol into Japan. However, when it comes to anything um, to do with, with like um, drugs or whatever, medication, um, I really, really cannot give you any advice. And I won't give you any advice in that regard other than please check your check read to your research all right let's see hey from sweden hello kia aura from new zealand awesome thanks howdy hi from the uk <laughs> you're here all the evil don't worry la is in the house also um let's see greetings from ireland nice nice awesome I keep on forgetting that you're in Ireland. <laughs> Good morning from Hawaii. Right, any more questions? Remember to at Ninja Monkey Guy. Um, I'm trying to go for the questions rather than than saying hello to everyone. Um, it's a Sunday stream, in, indeed. <laughs> Chicago, Kerry from England, Toronto. This is awesome. I swear. I wish I could say every whenever I said a a, a country or a city that would appear in the map. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. Frog Lady, thanks for that support, by the way, over there. Um, leaving in less than two weeks, awesome. Everyone is from everywhere, <laughs> indeed. I love it. It's awesome. You like the music? I try to keep it a little bit chill. I hope it's not too loud. Nine days for you. I think I have 15 or 16 days before I, I head off. Um... Uh... All right, let's see. Any questions? Hello from Wales. I'm leaving for my first trip in April. You can't wait. Awesome. I lived in Wales, by the way, for quite a, 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 a bit of time. Your videos have been a great help so far. Well, hopefully you can go into my backlog of, of videos and check some of my older videos. In fact, recently there's been a little bit of a, an increase in views from my old catalog of videos from the last four, five, six years. People finding videos that um that I've made from different areas in Japan. In fact, I even forgot <laughs> that I had a video on a day trip to Himeji Castle from Kyoto. It's a vlog, but it's a day. It's basically it's a step by step guide of getting from Kyoto Station to Himeji and back. Um, I documented it all. And I forgot about that vlog. To be honest, nine days is nothing. I know. I know. 19 months hi from brussels but unfortunately can't stay long well it doesn't matter you still get confetti for being a great supporter and and thank you so much for being a great moderator too i really really appreciate it any time that you could stay is 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 it's great time what's a banana fan okay good question and um, basically <laughs> nishad i buy these tokyo bananas and um, from japan they're one of my favorite favorite ultimate snacks um in japan and because they have such a short shelf life, I bring them and I put them in the freezer. And then when I stream, I have a Tokyo banana. It's sort of become a thing, hasn't it? <laughs> um, guy, Ninja Monkey Guy, this is it. Thank you. Yeah, you need to put the at Ninja Monkey Guy so I can see the questions. Um, and I can actually see. Wow. <laughs> do I have any Cloak Affiliate links? Yes, Nick, I do. I have a, a Cloak affiliate link that I'm just going to put here for you to see. You could scan it. You could go to the website. The easiest way is ninjasaru.com and the links are all there for not just um, the affiliate links, but also for for um, for other things. And um, 
and I know that I've been going on, I've been talking about Crook for a while. They are, they do sponsor my videos, some, some of my vid my content is sponsored by them, but I am very picky who I use and I try to align myself with, with products and with um, companies that I know will help you too, so. For a locked phone, what do you recommend? If your phone is locked, then I, I highly recommend that you get pocket Wi-Fi because you wouldn't need to unlock it or unlock your SIM or whatever. Pocket Wi-Fi, you just connect with with as if it was a Wi-Fi connection and you can even share it with other people if you wanted to. So good evening, Mark. Hey, and I've just noticed that we have, thank you so much, six days in Japan, stay in Tokyo area only, not Kyoto. Um, let me just add Travel Freak. I'll just add your name here. And thank you so much for your donation there. Um, what? Six days in Japan, stay in Tokyo area only. Well, I think that if you have six days in Japan, you probably just want to stay in Tokyo, to be honest, and you probably want to remain in, in um, and do day trips. Um, I'm not a big, like, fan of doing day trips into like to Kyoto I think Kyoto is worth a night and perhaps you would want to you might want to do like a one night in Kyoto it's up to you it just depends on on the pace of the, of the trip that you want really so yeah right where were we um some of you started getting okay Christopher says hey ninja monkey I'm going to Japan on the 29th of April should I do the visit Japan web now or in the middle of April. You could do it whenever you want, as long as you have your first address, like your hotel address, and your flight's booked, you're good to go anytime. The moment that you've booked your hotels, at the moment that you've booked your your, your flights, you can you can do it at any time. Just remember not to do it in the very last moment. I think, um, I'm not very sure exactly when the there's a cut, but there is a cut off date, a uh, cut off time, basically. Yeah, Nico's a great place for that sort of style, you know? Um, Ninja Monkey Guy, have you flown Cheap Frills Airlines in Japan? Um, I actually haven't. Um, I've flown with Anna within Japan. I've flown with Anna in the past. Um, <laughs> however, I ha I will be flying with Peach Airlines this summer um, quite a few times. So I can't wait to, to review them in a way and have that experience. Because ultimately that's what... I feel I'm here for to experience all of these little things so that when I have a question like this from just to roaming around, I can actually answer it from experience rather from speculation. Um, so I will be. <laughs> Hello from Columbus. Nice. Awesome. End of May. Are foreigners allowed to go to Kyoto now? Yes, I know there's been a lot of a lot of panic in a way about Kyoto, like um, banning tourists. But they're only banning it in very specific streets, private streets, mostly residential streets or, or streets where, where the geisha um, work. Um, now, it will be very interesting to see how that is done. It's just been an announcement. It's been very recent. It doesn't go into effect quite just yet. So until it actually goes into effect and we actually get reports of how they're policing it, we won't really know. Ultimately, I think... I understand why they're doing it. They already had a photo ban, uh, a photo ban, in 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 these areas pretty much already. So um, we'll see. Kanazawa is lovely, also. I agree. Um, the chat is very busy today. It is Jim Jim Ross in the is in the house, and the chat is busy indeed. <laughs> How are you? How how's your back, by the way? Um. All right, this is a good question because it's a real question that that affects a lot of people. Ninja Monkey Foxo says, um, "How hard is it really when navigating trust tra train stations for the very first time? And does Google Maps help a station or only when out of the station?" Um. The great thing is that with with 
a data sim or with a connection a lot of the time you will have a, a connection um so if even if you're in a panic usually you'll be able to get some reception and you will be able to to get get some connection to get some of those you know like um directions and how difficult is it i don't think it's too difficult it, it's it's just a matter of getting orientated and getting used to it by the second day you'll be a pro i believe i i believe um the most important thing to remember is that it's not a bad thing to get lost. Um, you will probably get lost. You will probably make a few errors. Even me myself, as a as a veteran, maybe of traveling to Japan, sometimes I miss my stop. Sometimes I stay on the on the train one stop too too far, and I because I'm I don't know <laughs> looking at my phone. It doesn't happen too often. Sometimes I even get onto the onto the wrong train, um, because there are some trains that are like limited express trains that don't stop at every single station and um and i make the error of of just getting on the train but i think that ultimately the good thing is that google maps will tell you exactly what platform you need to go to and google google you can even follow your your route on on google maps and and figure out um on google maps um what the what all the stations the the train stops at before you have to get at your destination which is what i like to do I like to have a look at my the train stations um, on the way to my destination and be aware of the of the penultimate um, station if that makes any sense. Hey Star Gen, how are you doing? Um, Star Gen is in the house. Um, another mod. Thank you for for modding today, and I hope everything is okay in Colombia. Um, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Very, 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 very soon in Japan. Yeah. I have never done a bus tour, to be honest. I am, it's just not really my style. Should I do it? Probably. Like I said, I want to experience all of these little things so that I can, you know, feedback. And whenever anybody asks a question, I really want to be able to, to answer the question, right? If you have a little question, go ahead. We went to our bank to get us some Japanese yen since we booked our trip in October. We just realized that we have like 40... 2000 yen notes is it risky since they are not common no it's not risky the only worst thing that can happen is that some vending machines will not accept it and um, but it, all the stores will accept it really it is currency after all um, and the same exactly same thing happened to me the very first well the first few times that i went to japan and um, i had tons of 2000 yen notes i wasn't even aware it was a it was a thing until i got to japan and people were a little bit surprised by the fact that i had so many 2000 yen notes i never had any problems and i never had anybody saying that they wouldn't take it um to be honest so oh nightbot doesn't like certain things <laughs> okay Please at Ninja Monkey for the questions. I am I'm gonna be quite strict with with that. So if you haven't, you're gonna to have to rewrite the question with the at Ninja Monkey so I get my attention. Um, or try try to. Evening, mate. Um, thanks for taking the time to do this. Is it worth taking the Shinkansen from Kyoto Kyoto to Kobe? We have a Hokuriku, Hokuriku Pass as well. If you have the Hokuriku Pass, and why not, basically? Um, Kyoto to Kobe doesn't take very long at all. I've done it, I can't even remember if I took the Shinkansen. Um, but it's not very far away, it's not too far from from um, from each other. Um, it's a very easy day trip. So if I were you, if, that, if you have the Hokuriku, Hokuriku Arch Pass, then um just go for the for the one that's the most convenient and easiest to 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 go on basically okay i'll answer this one and i know that it's not at me but um see, um where is it victor says why isn't it coming out Hard question. I know how much average yen cash for street restaurants as a snack drinks per person per day, not for fancy restaurants. I imagine you can pay with credit card for these. I would say, hey, 113 viewers and we have how many likes, by the way? 41 likes, guys. I think we can do a little bit better, <laughs> please. So I would say 
that there's a there there is a cheat to to eating cheap, and that is eat at lunch and make use of the special lunch set menus. You can eat incredible food at lunchtime at many many restaurants in Japan. Um, between certain times, sometimes as little as 900 yen, 800 yen, including like tea, including a little like in, like two or three dishes. Um, so that they they do range. You can get from from 900 yen all the way to 3,000 yen. Um, you can get some set menus. Um, and I actually have a video on that, which I would recommend that you check out. Cheap cheap eats. Um, I go through all that through how to how to find them, how to, how to spot them, etc. So that that is one way of keeping the budget down, eating well at lunchtime. Um, and then when it comes to dinner, it really does depend. Um, I don't like giving a specific amount of 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 what you are going to spend, um, but I try to stick to around the eight thousand yen sort of mark for me myself I, I know that I can do it in 8,000 in about 8,000 yen and have left over most of the time any more questions at ninja monkey please thanks for reminding everyone to subscribe to my second channel I'm near the 1,000 mark um subscriber mark by the way on on my on my second channel um which is what I need to be monetized in terms of ad, ad revenue which I'm not there If you leave Japan, you don't need to go through customs when changing flights in Haneda. There you go. Common commenter has been able, but you would have to go. Um, yeah, but I think they meant like um, I understand what they what they mean. It's the it's the luggage luggage. What to do with the luggage mainly? Uh, let's see. Any more questions? Romania is in the house also. Ninja Monkey Guy, I'm going to Japan on April 29th. Should I do the visit to Japan now? I've already answered that, which is fine. <laughs> Just remember, please, to at me. I'm trying to go for, for questions that are at, at Ninja Monkey Guy. Just to make it a little bit easier. Because there are so many questions here that um I think it's the best way to do it. And if I miss anything, I do I do apologize. Just um, go for it. Go, you know, just answer again. <laughs> Quest, ask again. I mean, right. And um, where were we? Yes, remember to put an Ninja Monkey guy so Nathan can see the question easily. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Now, can foreigners still go to Kyoto? Yes, you can. There isn't a, a tourist ban. I've just spoken about that right now. Um. Is there a good app that you can use to translate ingredients and foods in sh shops like Lawson as I'm a vegan? Um, well, you know what? I use, there are plenty of apps. I use Google, Google Translate because I just find that the user interface is the best for me. It what's works works for me because I'm just used to Google, Google apps. Mainly, if you are a vegan, then I do suggest that you memorize some kanji, specific kanji. Um, and I'm sure there are, there are many guides out there to help you in that re regard um in europe it's illegal for phones to be locked to a network since 2019 wow i didn't know that that's pretty cool <laughs> all right any more questions i'm going through these like very quickly there's so many so if i do miss hey don't worry nick you don't have to super chat me if you don't want me. Don't want to. I appreciate that comment and the sentiments. And um, like I said here about about translation apps, I think they're all generally quite iffy to be honest. However, I think the most important thing is: Are you comfortable using it? Do you know how to use it? Do you know how to get around it? Um, that's basically if you if you understand if you understand the user interface, you're already like winning, right? Heading from Tokyo Station to Kameoka and back and then straight to Shinkansen to Kyoto. Do I still need to pass Suika? Um, if you're going on to the Shinkansen, um, anything that's local trains within a region, you can use Suika. Um, but the moment that you're going on to Shinkansen, you will need a ticket, an actual Shinkansen ticket.
You're very welcome, Kristen. At Ninja Monkey, guys. Remember. <laughs> is it true that you have to be sporty to be in Japan? I've never heard that in my life. That is kind of funny. Don't forget, guys, that in my last video, the Q&A video, um, please ask any questions on there too, because I will be doing the, the Q&A videos every probably six to eight weeks. That's my plan to put out a, I answer people's comments every six to eight, eight weeks, more or less. Um, but I probably won't, I might, I might go back into my chat and, and I'll get some questions. Sporty in Japan. That's, uh, I don't understand that. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. Are USB outlets for charging common in hotels? Torn on whether um, an American needs an adapter. Um, are they common in, Japan, in, in, in hotels? It depends on the type of, of hotel. Put it this way. I've been to many, many hotels. Just put it into context. Just on my last trip last summer, I, was, I went to like 23 or 24 different hotels. Um, this trip that I'm going now in the spring will be one hotel. And then this, the trip that I'll be going in the summer will be another, I think, 15 hotels or, or 14 hotels. So I, I, I've I been to my fair share of hotels and I probably wouldn't say that USB um, charging is common in hotels in Japan. I always, always have a plug. I always have an adapter. Where can I break a 10,000 yen note? Any kombini? Basically, I would say Don Quixote. It's super easy. Getting some food. <laughs> We're staying in Shibuya and we want to see the Tokyo at night. Any recommendations to a building we should go up for the view? Yeah, there's loads of night views. And if you're staying in Shibuya, then Shibuya, Shibuya Sky is probably the best observ observation deck because it's literally there. However, you can also go to the Tokyo Metropolitan um, um, Observation Deck in Shinjuku, which now has these incredible illuminations, a world a Guinness world record of the largest um, projection mapping illumination in the world, which would be really cool to check out. And it's free and you'll also get some pretty cool views from there. When I was in Japan, <laughs> I had 90,000 yen in the in the rare 2,000 yen notes. People were trying to trade me in bars with the current versions. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> right. Is it safe for women to walk alone around places in Japan at night? Look, Star, I'm not a woman um, and I don't like to answer for women. However, I have traveled with many, many female people in the past, and I know a lot of women who have who travel solo in Japan, and they they seem to tell me that they are that it's it's a very safe place for women. Obviously, the most important thing, even for men, is to still be streetwise, still be careful, and don't let your guard down just because you're in Japan. Even me myself, you know, I wouldn't go down a, a dark alley on my own as a man in 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 Japan or any other country. Um, just, I just try to use my common sense. Gonna have a Coke. If you are a member, an emoji member, then show it by emojiing the Coke Zero. <laughs> I'm going to Japan the last week. Uh, where were we? Going to Japan the last week of March and I've already bought the big Shinkansen but not the small trains like Osaka to Nara. Should I buy those in advance or better to get them there? I think those small ones, you can get them there the day, be the, the day before if you absolutely um, need to. Um, unless it's a public holiday, then you might want to be a little bit more careful. Hey, thank you so much, Mark G, banana fan. I need some, some instead of confetti, I need some banana, like bananas falling, right? <laughs> thank you, Mark. I hope I didn't forget to put anybody um, <laughs> in the list of thank yous. Let's see, have I missed anything? Lots of, this is the best way, just at Ninja Monkey Guy and that I can see it. This is so much better than last week. The best way to learn about samurai culture in Japan. Is there a town or museum I should go? Well, actually you could go to <laughs> pretty much anywhere in, in Japan. Samurai. Um, there are plenty of places, even like going to Odawara. The Odawara castle is more of a ninja castle, I believe. 
<laughs> I'm Ninja Monkey, not Samurai Monkey. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, Shimonology. Shimonology is in the house. She, who? Shimonology. I hope it's spelled correctly. But uh, I hope that you can help. Suggestions for pants to wear, walk around as an adult male, going for two days this October. Jeans, chinos, solos. Thanks. <laughs> I can understand the whole the whole clothes thing. Look, I get lots of questions about clothes. You're not the only one. Me personally, I'm a jeans guy, and I think that you're okay wearing whatever, whatever you wanna, whatever you want to wear as, as a, as a, as a, you know, whatever's most comfortable for you. Um, generally, I sort of wear comfortable walking, um, like jeans or, or trousers. Um, whilst I'm in in Japan in the winter months, and then in the summer, I even wear shorts, and I always have a pair of of trousers, or a little bit more, more like um. A little bit more like nicer nicer chinos or whatever for the summer just in case i need to and usually put it this way like in a six week trip i might only put them on once or twice so i don't think you need to worry too too much about about um about jeans or or, or chinos or, or what you're going to wear in terms of pants um you're going to be walking a lot so definitely make sure that they're that they're comfortable pants you know Thanks for the super chat, by the way. Where were we with the questions? How many likes are we at now? 56 likes, guys. Come on, help out with more likes. <laughs> Let's see, any more questions? At Ninja Monkey Guy, if you have a question, by the way. Where was I? We hear about the unique and strange Japan. Can you suggest these alternative category activities to do? Love your channels. Thank you, channels. Key. <laughs> um, we hear about the unique and strange Japan. Can you suggest these alternative category activities to do? Yeah, I mean, in terms of strange, I don't think anything is strange, really. But there's plenty of activities that are definitely interesting or a little bit different for example i'm going to point you to to a, a video that i did in kanazawa like new attractions new experiences in in kanazawa including a very interesting restaurant which was a dashi restaurant which i highly recommend in in kanazawa that in itself is an experience even places like team labs could be considered a wacky you know sort of experience Pretty much any kind of um, of pet cafe or themed cafe would would be great. There's nin ninja cafes. Then if you want to go down the traditional like sort of like experiences, which I highly recommend, you can do things like the samurai um, sword experience with Shogo in in Kyoto. Um, you can do like even what I did in 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 um, in Kanazawa. Was it in Kanazawa? Yeah, in Kanazawa, I had a a a. Oh, like a samurai ancestor, a samurai family member or, or somebody who, you know, like <laughs> their great, great, great grandfather was a samurai warrior or whatever. And I had, I had, was able to handle the original 400, 500 years sort of like blades whilst he was giving me the history of, of his family, which is pretty, pretty incredible. Um, but I don't think you should focus too much on, on the wild and the, on the wacky. I think everything is unique and everything is different in, in Japan in, in a way. So. Um, okay. And I have booked quite a lot already, but the train rides from city to city, not yet. And seeing as JR pass is not an option. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to train booking, you can book in advance. If you absolutely want peace of mind, then you can do that. Definitely. However, you can also, you must remember that there are, I think, between six and nine trains an hour um, going from Tokyo to, to Kyoto in that direction. So there, there's plenty of seats. The only problem is the availability of the time slot that you want to travel. And a lot of people that travel, for example, um, on a, for a day trip, if they want to do a day trip from Tokyo to Kyoto or Osaka, um, then I would highly suggest that you that they that they book 
their 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 seats and the, their trip just because if they're not careful they could they could end up at the train station at 9 a.m wanting to get the 9 30 shinkansen and they might say actually the you know everything is booked until 10 30 and then that's a whole hour that you've you've wasted so you got to be careful Um, how and where is the best method to book your tickets? You can book your tickets two ways. You can actually book your tickets in in um, Japan um, via a counter, and you can do that a few days in advance. So, for example, if you're already in Tokyo and you're gonna you're gonna go in two days time, you could book your tickets then. You can go online and search for J for the official JR um, website, um, or you can use my Kluk affiliate link there, and that will also allow you to get your train ticket in advance which is pretty handy and all those links all those affiliate links are available on my website www.ninjasadu.com or www.ninjamonkey.org very easy okay lisa um if if i if it, i think i'm gonna just like can somebody please just like like put lisa on a 30 minute um time thingy because yeah i've mentioned that a few times it doesn't make sense anymore guys is a uk data package daily offer okay for a few days um off a cruise ship um it depends how much data you need to try to give me as much information as you can when you ask me a question basically uh, yeah, Passimo, Suica, IC cards in general, they have an expiry of 10 days, sorry, 10 days, 10 years. So as long as you, uh, as long as it's been used within 10 years, it won't expire. Papa Go, cool. I've never heard of that. Good beaches to visit. We'll be spending time in Tokyo, Nagoya, Osaka and Hiroshima. Um, I mean, even Kamakura, um, I've been to Kamakura Beach. Um, and I've been to to some beach. Where did I where, where did I go to? Thing is that when I'm in Japan, I don't tend to go to the beach. I'm from the Mediterranean. You see, we have incredible beaches there too. Here, <laughs> um, so um, and I wanted to before I carry on, just want to mention one thing. I hope this works, but I think it's very important for me to mention that um, I have a friend. I don't know, it's not working, but I have a friend. He's another YouTuber. He's a Japan travel, well, he lives in, in Japan. He does a lot of live streaming in Japan. And um, he's part of the Japan YouTube community. And he's currently, he is bat battling lung cancer. His name is, is Drew, Tokyo Drew. And, um, and I want to support him by pointing people to his channel. And I also want to encourage you, if you do have a little bit of spare change and want to support his cause, then you can go and check out Drew's channel um and please 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 subscribe to him <laughs> send a message saying hey ninja monkey send me there and um let's put a smile on his face ultimately i i should have done this earlier on during during the the stream but um but i've done it now is there war memorial graves that you can visit in tokyo area and do the celebrate remembrance day and um, i've never heard of them um celebrating Me remembrance day but they do sort of have their own remembrance day they have an atomic the atomic um bomb bombing day which is probably their equivalent of um remem remembrance day andrew Have you ever took the Keisei Skyliner train, Narita Airport to Ueno um, Station? I have, I have. If so, is it, uh, is it a little bit like the Shinkansen and how it went for the luggage? Um, when it has luggage compartments, I think it's actually better than the, Shinkan than the Shinkansen. It's feel, it felt space, more spacey <laughs> and it definitely had um, Shinkan it also definitely had luggage um sections i actually have video on that somewhere okay returning pocket wi-fi uh, pick it up at unit at 
um, Haneda, but the departure is at a different terminal. Is it easy to find drop off seeing that my flight is? Yeah, well, first of all, the best, I don't know how Japan wireless works, but I can tell you that most um, pocket Wi Fi's will come with an envelope that you put your pocket Wi Fi in and you can post. And at the airport, there's let letter boxes where you can post your pocket Wi Fi. Generally, is it just express trains that you need to get extra tickets for? Yeah, usually it's, it is express trains like, um, yeah, Tupa Expresses, etc. that you get need to get the... Why is it? Because I guess it's a, a limited express. It's faster. It's more convenient. And um, if not, everybody would use it. You can use a USB port of the television in your room to charge your phone. That's a good point. I've actually never thought of that. Thank you. <laughs> I won't need the streaker for the first day as I'll be catching limo bus to hotel. Would it still be better to get IC card on the way through Narita or leave for the next day and get it from Ikebukuro Eki? And my suggestion really is to get it where there's... If, if you're in, in the airport, pass by the airport and you see that there's no queue, and then get it at the airport and um, the welcome speaker for example um but if there's a long queue you know you can get it elsewhere so <laughs> you probably don't have to queue up too much how early can i take the train to get my early flight back and when i am when i am 30 minutes away from the airport my flight is at 8 30 a.m i'm thinking i need to be there three hours before um, usually, I believe the train start at 4.30 in the morning, just to give you an, an idea. Um, a good thing to do is just check on, on Google Maps, put in your your destination and your origin, and, it will, you, and even the date, and it will give you all the train times. Right. Um, are you able to forward luggage from Tokyo to Osaka if you're staying in an Airbnb? This is a good question, and I did did tackle this question on my last Q and A. Um, and to cut the story short, it's it is it is possible, but it is very difficult. And um, I think that the best thing to do is for you to um, send send it to your next destination via a counter. Or via uh, a combini with with the Yama, Yamato um, logo. I have not done a, a sumo res wrestling match yet. Unfortunately, I really want to go. I'm sure it will be an incredible experience. Slip on shoes, a hundred percent, very important. <laughs> very important. Thank you for your content. It has helped me tremendously in preparing for my trip to Tokyo in a few weeks. Staying in Arakawa. Exploring Ueno first. Nice one. Thank you. Mike V. Arigato. Mike. Much appreciated. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much for your support. Every little helps um, for me to explore a little bit more of Japan and make more videos. Thank you for the tip on Shibuya Sky. We want to go up the last day night before returning home. We also want to eat at a nice restaurant. Is there one at the top too? Shibuya Sky, there, there is some, some um, food options up there, I believe. <laughs> Suika Passable, it's always the same thing. Really, really, really. Ninja Monkey Guy, how hard is it to book long trains? Like the ones that you have to have, that you have a local ticket express ticket and actual seat reservation type. Sleep, um, sleeper trains are a little bit more tricky. You need to book them usually, I think, minimum of a, of, of a month in advance and you need to do it from Japan. So it is a little bit tricky um, to do the sleeper trains and um, you'd have to call and book. My understanding is that if you have a JR Pass, if you, you want to use a, the sleeper train with JR Pass, you can actually do so. You can call up and then um, you're just reserving. You don't actually pay until you're there. So, or show your, your JR Pass to get the discount, whatever. Smart EX not working with credit cards. Any options? I'm not very sure. When it comes to credit card and bank issues, it's it's a little bit difficult. 
although I've heard of lots of people trying um, Apple Cash. I don't have access to Apple Cash though, so... The Blue Dragon Festival. I don't know about the Blue Dragon Festival. <laughs> Maybe if I see it. Um, sorry, but I, I don't know anything about the Blue Dragon Festival, so I apologize. April, what's the best way to dress? What's the average temperature? Um, you know what? I I layer it up in the shade. It can get, get chilly, especially in the morning and in the evening. A jacket during the day, usually depending on the weather really because everything is so freaking unpredictable nowadays but on the when it comes to to daytime the sun i've actually been in t-shirt or i've been with in a long long sleeve t-shirt before um layers 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 seriously i say it but layers okay you put question in front so i'll answer What's the deal with the Japan Rail Pass? It doesn't seem to be a good deal anymore. Um, it's not generally a good deal for for most travelers, although there are some travelers. In fact, somebody today um, sent me a, um, a, mess, a comment in my last video, and they're going to be using the JR Pass, and for them it's going to work flawlessly because they're going to pretty much going to be using it every day or every other day to, to travel around Japan. Unfortunately, um, if you want to sort of spend two or three days in a place then the JR pass might not be for you anymore <laughs> kick with the kicks yes please Tawada everything is in the past dude um end of June starts getting sticky starts getting hot humid again comfortable and make sure that you have waterproofs, especially good foot footwear for that rain, I would say. Is there a way to expedite getting permission to bring prescription meds? I was unaware that this was an issue. I'm sorry, I'm, I I cannot answer or I don't have the information um, specific to, to med medication, especially prescription medications, other than that there are specific medications that you do need, need to get permission for. Um, I am very much interested in doing a little bit more research but I'm also a little bit worried about about giving advice regarding medication um, because I'm not a doctor and also because the the rules and the laws of the, of the country might, might might pose what I say and I don't want to be that kind of person. Yomiuri, Yomiuri land. Um, is it a good trip from Tokyo? I've not done it, but I know many of my viewers who have. And um, and like, for example, my friend Daniel, he did it and he loved it. He loved it, loved it, loved it. And I believe that very soon they'll be having the, the a Pokemon area there. So Yeah, don't talk to the foreigners. It's probably a good good advice. Uh, I mean, to be honest, when I'm in Japan, <laughs> I'm not worried about my leaving stuff anywhere unless there's foreigners around. <laughs> um, you tried to look up the Dashi Cafe in... It's a Dashi restaurant in Kanazawa. And, um, and check out my video. I don't know if I can find my video on Kanazawa if you search for Ninja Monkey Kanazawa then there's one that says new Japan new hidden attractions and um, it goes for everything Zen wine gold leaf pottery um, and there's a dashi restaurant there it's called barrier in fact, I'll, I'll maybe I can share it. Can I share it? Share share the link with you guys. This is the Dashi restaurant. Remember to add Ninja Monkey Guy to so that it you know pops up and I actually go. I'm going through these much much quicker this way. 
Can I please check with you if we will be using the same QR code for customs clearance when no, you won't need a QR code um, for leaving the country? Don't worry. How do I call restaurants to reserve tables if I don't speak Japanese? I can't use Google Translate whilst I'm on the phone. You can't, unfortunately, it's one of those things. Um, usually the best the best way to make a reservation is is getting your hotel to make a reservation for you if, if they'll do that for you. A lot of hotels will, number one. Um, possibly um, booking online sometimes, you can do that. And one of the things that I keep on telling people is, you know, personally visiting the restaurant and making a booking for, for the following day um, might work, especially with Google Translate, etc. Um, you need a timed entry. It doesn't have to be an express pass as far as I'm aware. You have to fight for your slot. I'm not too versed when it comes to, to festivals other than, one, other than the ones that I've actually experienced myself. Just because there's so many, there are hundreds. And um, maybe I should actually have like a, a list of festivals and dates with me for the next live stream since it's something that keeps on popping up. So note to self, maybe that's what I what I will do in the future. Let's see. Cool, we are getting sort of to the end of the of the of the questions, which is great. And pretty good timing also. Do I need to get a a um, travel card if I was thinking of bringing cash. Um, I suggest that you do get a travel card. You can top up your travel ca ca card with cash, but it will make traveling through through the train stations a lot quicker, regardless of what some other YouTubers have recently said. Um, but um, yeah, I, it would definitely make things easier generally. Um, other than YouTubers, did you find it easy to mingle and socialize with the locals? Yeah, I've actually made loads of local friends um, through the years as um, that are not YouTubers that I hang out with or, or contact or whatever. I think I'm in a very different sort of like situation to a lot of people, a lot of viewers, because I do return so often that I can send a message saying, hey, I'm going to be there in, in April. Do you want to hang out? You know, so. To make friends and connections, you sort of need to stay in touch and, and, and you do need to put in the work, I guess. So when it comes to, to making friends and mingling, um, I, I've done that quite quite well, I, I, I have to say. Can you explain a little bit about tax return when going back home from Japan? I heard of it and I don't really want um, know what it is. Okay, when it comes to, to, um, to tax, it's a little bit complicated. I don't want to go too too much into details, but really leaving leaving the country, um, you just need to prove that you're leaving with the with the um, items that you've bought. If they do stop you, you need to be able to prove yes, these you know, um, they'll have a record of everything that you've bought. So you need to prove that you have the camera that you've bought tax free and leaving the country. Now, when you enter your country, that's a different different thing that I cannot answer because each country has its own like import, um, customs, etc., um, rules and regulations, etc. Must see cities in Kyushu for two week trip. Yeah, good question. Um, must see cities. <laughs> well, I I loved in Kyushu, um, Nagasaki. I thought Nagasaki was pretty epic. To be honest, I loved it. Kagoshima was pretty cool and I'm going to count Yakushima as <laughs> as a place in Kyushu because it does belong to Kyushu but um, Yakushima is definitely one of my top places in the whole of Japan I have to say. Is it hard to navigate to Izakayas when you speak minimal Japanese especially Yokocho area? Um, I don't think it's it's too difficult to be honest. Um, 
a lot of a lot of these izakayas will be happy to serve you even if they're not used to having foreigners and there's always going to be people around that will help you you'll find obviously like everything just be prepared and and you know have your translation app ready at the ready if you need to um or know some very specific very easy phrases like biru onegashi mas can have a beer etc and it'll be fine Shrika on the iPhone, I agree, is great. Remember to at Ninja Monkey Guy if you want to get my attention. We have a flight um, from Haneda at 8 p.m. on our last night in Japan and was wondering if we should stay in Tokyo for the last night or stay in Osaka where we would be for six nights um that it all depends to you D depends up to you i think personally i would probably stay in tokyo um <laughs> to be honest just because it would make your very long trip home a little bit shorter having to get from osaka to haneda airport or narita airport wherever you're flying from from haneda airport i've just read um that would take you three plus hours plus the long flight, that's a long day, you know, but it's up to you, really. There you go. Some restaurants use table log for bookings, so that might help indeed. <coughs> hey, did I miss the live stream? Pretty much. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here, but but um, but we will be ending the stream soonish. Not, not quite yet. Not quite yet, but yeah. Went to an Izakaya 2016 around Tokyo Station. They helped us out, but there were certain um, charges on a bill that confused us. I can't remember what it was for, but I just prepared for that. Yeah, um, Philly Disco, there's something called a cover charge. It happens to everyone, not just to to foreigners, by the way, before people start panicking. Um, so there is a, a cover charge. And I suggest that you actually ask, like, what the, what is a, the cover charge, how much it is, so that you're aware sometimes it says you know like 300 yen or, or whatever and it they give you some pickles or give you some a little snack or whatever with your drink and it's just basically to cover like the napkin and to cover you just you being there the electricity or, or whatever it's very very common it happens a lot in in japan and um, a lot of um, places like golden guy in shinjuku they will have very clear um, sign saying no cover charge or cover charge 500 or cover charge 300 or whatever so do possible and speaker cards expire on your phone even if you have fans on them <laughs> that's a good question I don't think they would expire <laughs> I'm not very sure on your phone I mean don't forget that, that in theory they they shouldn't expire for 10 years so you'd have to have your phone for 10 years I guess <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, Kathleen, for the, for the support. Let me just add you to the list. Kathleen, arigato gozaimasu. Thanks. Thank you so much. By the way, everyone, we are at 75 likes, but 96 people viewing. And it would be so awesome if I could get to 100 likes. That would be pretty darn cool, I have to say. Thanks for that, by the way. Kathleen. Yay, Jennifer. I'm waiting for your message, by the way. <laughs> Watching from Maui. Awesome. I appreciate you, Kathleen. Thanks. <laughs> Did you ever have a cover charge in that horse meat restaurant? I can't remember. It's all a blur, to be honest. Um, Japan, Japan, Ichiban. Um, I want to shout out one one more time, Japan Japan Ichiban. Not only is he a great moderator <laughs> of the channel, along with some other people like Philippe, that helps me out so much with moderating and star gen. Um, but Japan Japan Ichiban does have a awesome Facebook um, page that he's about to link. And he's also got a, a YouTube channel that he's trying to grow where he walks around Japan. Um, so I would love him to put that put that in 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 the in the chat. So that you can check it out and also um 
before I end, I'm not ending just yet, but I wanted to also mention uh, my friend um, Tokyo Drew one more time. Um, he's a he's a friend. I've met him countless times. Met usually meet up with meet up with him when I'm in 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 Tokyo. He's currently in hospital. He's he's um, battling lung cancer, and I really want to point people to his channel so you can actually go um, and click subscribe, send a message, watch his last stream or whatever, and say hey, hello, you know, like Ninja Monkey sent me, sending you positive vibes, etc. Please, 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 please. If you have any questions, at Ninja Monkey Guy, please. Is it true that um, cherry blossoms are already blooming in Tokyo? There's so many varieties of cherry blossoms. The Yoshido um, variety, I think they're called, I don't believe will start um, actually um, blooming until around the 22nd or 23rd of, of this month. So not quite yet, but the early blooming varieties have started blooming. That is correct. Ooh. Thanks for that, for that information there. Do I know of any specific um, etiquette that is important when using gyms in Japan? Um, I know that when you use a gym in Japan, they're very, very, very strict with tattoos. That is a main thing. Um, so, and then there will be their own rules. Like I think that like even drinking and quiet being very very quiet sake all the way soju i cannot stand not even the smell <laughs> monkey la love thank you <laughs> well the like is a is a thumbs up which is this one and <laughs> that's the like button and um, the like button, basically, you can only hit it once. If you hit it again, it will come, it will turn off. So, <laughs> 87 likes. Thank you. Uh, thank you for everything. Planning my trip mid-May, super helpful. Check out my like, like depending where you're going. Um, I've pretty much been all around Japan. In fact, this summer I will be completing the whole of Japan. I only have four prefectures, maybe five prefectures to do, and then I'll be able to say I've been to every single, <laughs> every single prefecture in Japan, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I find winter packing tricky. <laughs> yes, hell yes. I'm staying comfortable when outside and not cooking yourself when you go indoors. <laughs> yes. Um, also, a really good way of of um, like getting prepared for Japan is looking at live streams. Other other streamers' live streams gives you a really good idea of what people are wearing in different areas around Japan, you know? You just ask a question, Tiffany, at Ninja Monkey Guy, you do the at sign, Ninja Monkey Guy, if you're, or just put big question or big Q, because I know it's a little bit difficult to do from, um, from the, from the phone, unfortunately, at Ninja Monkey Guy, so I'm aware of that. Ninja Monkey Guy altogether, by the way. Tattoos are the main issue when exposed skin, like for instance. If I have a visible tattoo on my forearm, <laughs> for a minute I read on my forehead. I was like, what? <laughs> if I have a visible tattoo on my forearm, do I need to cover it when, where, wherever I go? No, please don't cover your tattoos up wherever you go, for goodness sake. Um, you might have to cover them up in very specific situations, like very, very specific. And even then, maybe, you know, um, sometimes there's no tattoo rules and they won't even accept it being covered up. So, like exactly the same answer there for um, Aries only. Or somebody from the US may know. 
Any good beer similar to Bud Light? Or, well, sorry, dude, but Bud Light is not a good beer. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to answer that question because I don't drink Bud Light. Are you going to do a travel vlog um, for those remaining prefectures? Yeah, I mean, all my like sort of like travel vlogging, like chill sort of videos are on my second channel, which is which is um, Happy Gaijin. Please check it out. Surprise on and subscribe, surprise, subscribe to my second channel. Uh, for example, I just put out one where I was hanging out with my friend Luke. We were just exploring drinking, exploring um, uh, Akabane area of Tokyo, and they're very very much unedited very very minimal music sort of thing and um, that's what I do on my second channel and I will be vlogging my trip as along as I go along but I will most mo more than vlogging I will be live streaming different locations couldn't find a private onsen to go for a couple of hours I have a small tattoo um look Nishad if you search for Tattoo friendly, um, tattoo friendly onsens or sentos, which which are public baths in um, in Tokyo, there is an extensive list. Yay, star! Please follow JJI. Definitely. Facts. <laughs> Kirin, I love Kirin actually. Asahi super dry, yeah. I love them. I generally Japanese beer is great, so Do I have any recommendations for off the beaten path locations? Absolutely. I could I could go on forever when it comes to off the beaten path. Like I just put out a short a few days ago and I mentioned Suwano, I mentioned um Yakushima, I mentioned um, Ine, I mentioned um, Aizu, Aizu Wakamatsu in that, in just in that short, I would say um, places like um, Amano Hashidate, um, then even even going to to places like Totori, which which isn't quite off the beaten path, um, Onomichi, going to the whole of Shikoku will basically put you off the beaten path completely, <laughs> like completely. <laughs> there's a there's a playlist on my channel actually which is like um Japan less visited or off the beaten path Japan plan my first trip to Japan in May what are some of the must go places for example sightseeing um Tiffany I have a video which is um Tokyo top top sites and Kyoto top sites. Now those two videos are not necessarily my favorite top sites, but rather like the the top places that tourists go to, like the like the places that you need to go to as a tourist. Please check them out, and then from there you can explore some other locations. I actually have a very interesting playlist called Japan um, Japan, what's it called? Starter Starter Japan Starter Kit. It's a it's a um, a playlist called Japan Japan Starter Kit. And on there, I have lots of information for basically to get you started planning your trip. Thank you very much, Japan, Japan, and Japan. Masking situation, nobody expects anything. You don't have to worry about it. Um, pretty much, it's like, like here, like Europe, except for people where more people wear it, but you don't have to worry. Absolutely great idea. Um, I would definitely recommend driving if you can. Just don't forget to get your driver's permit. I've got my Tokyo banana, which I'm about to eat right now. <laughs> right. Let's see. Hmm. This is Tokyo banana, by the way. <laughs> it's got banana custard filling inside. <laughs> Ninja monkey guy. <laughs> Hola. ¿Es posible visitar Osaka por un día si la estada es en Tokio? ¿O la distancia es demasiada para ir a Osaka y regresar a Tokio? I'm going to answer in English, by the way. Um, but the, um, 
Fugazi Punk asks if you can do Tokyo on a day trip. And yes, you can do Tokyo on a day trip. Um, however, I'm sorry, Osaka, Osaka. You can go from Tokyo to Osaka on a day trip. Of course you can. It will be about just, it will be under a three hour trip to get there. So um, it's easily done. The question is, should you? <laughs> I recommend staying a night if you're going to be in that area and exploring Kyoto too. What's my favorite food from each region or island in Japan? Wow. Um, hmm. Osaka, I would say kushikatsu, the deep fried like sticks. Um, then I would say going to to Hiroshima, Okonomiyaki. Um, then Aizu Wakamatsu, I had horse meat there that was pretty good. Don't judge me. <laughs> Um, I know there's so much food. It's all good. It's all good. Tokyo Drew, I have mentioned you like f four times in this stream already. I've been sending people to. I've been sending people to um to your channel. Hopefully, they've been going and sending you nice messages, and I'm sending you great positivity, um, asking for a friend. Which hub would you recommend is the best in Tokyo? Careful with the answer. The answer is whichever hub Tokyo Drew is at is the best hub to go to. <laughs> Definitely. How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? <laughs> Any questions at Ninja Monkey Guy? <laughs> You must be sponsored by Tokyo Banana. I wish I was. It would be a great sponsor. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately I'm not. Mm. You're very welcome. Very welcome. Right. Any more questions? We're going to start. But what is a hub? Now, that is a very important question. <laughs> maybe maybe Tokyo Drew can explain. A hub is a British pub that tries to... It's a izakaya pub that tries to be like a British-style pub in Japan. Um, and it's um, it's quite a great place, I must say. It's a, it's a very easy place to get your, yourself some beers, hang out with people. And actually, really fr usually very friendly and easy to easy to talk to people with loads of guidance there most of the time. Um, some people even say that um, the hub is sort of like a a gaijin hun hunters sort of location where where people will go there to to try and um, hook up with with foreigners. <laughs> I don't know. Is that true? The food is iffy though. It's okay, but it's iffy. <laughs> 12 days in hospital, another week to go or so. Dude, send me a message because I really want to um, arrange to, to meet up with you. Um, if you have the strength and the energy and if you want to meet up, it would be absolutely great to hang out. Um, just let me know. I'll be Ikebukuro based this time round. And I'm only going to be there for like 10 days. It's not a very long trip. As from, I arrive on the 29th of, um, of this month. So very, very, very soon. But then in the summer, I'll be there for pretty much the whole summer. So, not travel hubs, <laughs> drinking hubs. I've never seen a Yorkshire pudding in a hub, but I've seen fish and chips <laughs> before. It does have fish and chips, fish and chips. <laughs> It does indeed. Right. They're actually called the hub outside. It's really easy. Um, and it's a, yeah, I recommend checking out a hub at least once on your trip uh, to Japan. There's a big the hub. You can't miss it. It's true. So, yeah, guys, I'm just going to start finishing things off. So if you do have any last questions, I'll be going until the hour. 
Um, so the next seven minutes or so. Any questions? At Ninja Monkey Guy or just write a big question in front and I'll try to answer. Don't forget to check out my two videos that I put out. My second channel, The Happy Gaijin. I put out a, a little bit of a vlog there that was that's a fun one. And also um, check out my latest video, which is a uh, like question, basically this, <laughs> but in a video format. Yeah, go in, have a drink. <laughs> you used to have a Yorkshire Terrier. Okay. Okay, not, not quite a Yorkshire pudding though. Have I ever been to Dag Jazz Bar in Tokyo? It's famous for Murikami's Norwegian wood um, novel. No, I have not. I have not. Um, question. Is it worth the difficulty for foreigners to visit areas of Japan that are quite rural? Or is the language barrier? It's absolutely worth it. The I mean, there will be a language barrier, but it's absolutely worth it. Seriously. What was your train question? <laughs> Ask it again. Best conveyor belt sushi in Tokyo. I've been to Genki Sushi. <laughs> I find that one quite a nice little sushi place. So. Would you recommend um, pre-booking a data SIM card or would it be possible to buy one directly from Manada Airport upon arrival? Maybe more convenient buying from Big Camera once in Tokyo. Or, you know what's even more convenient? What's even more convenient is the fact that you can scan my Sakura Mobile affiliate link code that is there, that I'm pointing at. <laughs> Ooh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, and you can actually get your, your data SIM um, or eSIM or pocket Wi-Fi sent to your hotel or you can even pick it up at the, at the, at the airport when you arrive, depending on the time that you arrive. Um, personally, I don't think that the data SIMs that they sell at the airport from those vending machines give you very good data. So, yeah. You can pause to scan. <laughs> And, whoop, and might as well also remind you that um, I do have a Kluk affiliate link also. Um, they've been supporting my channel. They've been sponsoring some of my videos. The last video was sponsored by them. So, um, and I also get an affiliate link, which helps the channel out too. And any of those tickets that you are going to, like I, like I say in my video, because I mean it, you are going to buy those tickets anywhere. You Anyway, you are going to go and, and purchase the Shibuya Sky tickets. You are going to get those Team Lab labs tickets anyway so you might as well do it for the affiliate link it's pretty much the same price i believe so all right do you recommend traveling from narita airport to tokyo in train or bus whichever whichever you 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 just which i mean Buses will specifically maybe not take you directly to to your to your hotel, so just be aware of that. Um, yeah, if you're if you can get a limousine bus that takes you to your hotel, then definitely a limousine bus. Pocket Wi-Fi in advance, a month in advance, maybe. Yakushima is incredible. I have a video about it. Please check it out. All right, two more minutes of questions, guys. So at Ninja Monkey Guy, if you have any questions, and by the way, we have 89 likes. Can we get it to 100 before the end of the stream in two minutes time? I doubt it, but it would be nice if you did like the video. <laughs> it would be pretty epic if you did hit that like button.
10 away. Right. I think we've got one minute and then I'll see you. Don't forget that I do have a, a second um, stream. Very similar on a Wednesday, more or less at the same time on a Wednesday, but it's on my second channel, The Happy Gaijin. So check out my second channel. Um, you can please subscribe to The Happy Gaijin, which... Thank you, Stargen has beat me to it. <laughs> I was typing it in. Um, subscribe to my second channel, support there, like um, my latest video, watch my latest, latest video, comment on some of that content. I know it's very, diff it's very, very different to what I do here. Um, very, very raw, <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. Um, 94 likes, guys! One minute, can we get to 100 in the next minute before before I end the stream? I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe that'll be a target for next time. If you stay one night in Narita, there is a nice temple there. Narita has a nice temple, yeah. Hi Nathan, how good is the free Wi-Fi in Tokyo offered by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that the Wi-Fi generally is good in 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 Tokyo. Um, if you want to give it a go, let me know how it goes for you. Anyway, five away from the hundred likes. It doesn't matter. I'm very happy. It's been a great stream. I just want to say a big thank you to my moderators who have been modding this um this um chat beautifully. Um, and um, once again. Please head out to um, to my second channel, um, support my supporters. <laughs> and if you have any questions, you can always leave the, leave it in the comment section after the live ends. Um, check out the Discord for further um, information, itineraries, etc. Or even if you want to hang out with people, you can always ask on there. And um, if you want to support further, you can also check out my Patreon. It's probably the best way to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay positive and be a happy guy, Jin. Peace.